Hello, I'm Siegfried. You may know today that there's a Nintendo Direct coming this evening. And, uh, something leaked. I'm not going to say what, because I know that upsets some people, but something leaked before uh, the Direct. And there's, there's, there's a lot of debates today on, on the Twitters about whether it's weird to care about quote-unquote direct spoilers. You know, is it is it weird for... Is it weird to not want to be spoiled on what are essentially a series of advertisements? You know? Now, I'm the most anti-corporate, anti-commercialism motherfucker you can ever imagine. But even I find this notion to be somewhat reductive. And this honestly deserves to be its own Bakugaijin show segment. And maybe it will be, but we're not going to be recording for a little while, so... Uh, not till like next Tuesday and we've got a whole there's a whole different talk it's a, it's a thing but so we, I w we weren't going to be able to talk about this on the podcast for a while so I wanted to do a quick video about my thoughts on it while the iron was hot as it were and I find it to be a bit of a reductive stance because yes they're advertisements but they're representations of things people deeply care about and when people say it's weird to be excited for commercials or to care about getting spoiled on the existence of a of a of essentially an advertisement i have to say i have to think to myself well why is it weird if it's weird to be excited about an advertisement for a product isn't it also weird to be excited for a product in general and I don't think I don't think many of these people would agree with that sentiment you know I think what people have to realize is that in the world we live in commercialism and art are not entirely separate things they are deeply intertwined you know and I think just as you know, in the products themselves, there is both an artistic drive and a commercial drive intermingling, you know, interplaying with one another, balancing their desires to achieve a, an optimal collaborative outcome. You know, in the same way, the commercials themselves, which represent those products, are also part of that, that interplay. So I think it's hard to reject the commercialism aspect without also rejecting the art and a lot of people have also responded you know people who create things with well these are big moments that the team's built up to and they mean so much to them you know just to show off finally show off their hard work to the world and I think it's a little reductive to dismiss people's excitement for that you know both from the internal side as well as the external side the audience you know so, like, to an extent, I get it. You know, on a surface level, it's weird to be excited for commercials, and it's weird to be upset that you were spoiled on a, on a commercial. I get that. There's a part of my brain that's like, that is weird. But I also think it's not really that weird, you know? Now, I think the people that get, like, virulently angry about it those people are weird. They're putting way too much emotional investment into... If you're getting angry over these things, then that's way too much emotional investment. But I think there's nothing wrong with being emotionally invested in things that interest you and things that excite you and things that mean a lot to you. And I think it's easy to be a have a big galaxy brain cynical take like, oh, people are weird for being excited for commercials. But... You know, we're excited for commercials because they represent things, products that we're excited for. And I don't think it's wrong to like products. I really don't. You know, I think there's definitely a, a balance to be achieved in terms of having a healthy mindset. Some people are, you know, very much in the in a, a cog in the machine and very, you know, consume product, get excited for next product as it were. I think that's definitely an extreme people can fall into, but I think there's a healthy balance. Much in the much like in the creation process them itself, you can have healthy balances of commercial interest and artistic interest. 
And I think the same is true for the consumption side of things. I think there's a healthy balance to be had for appreciating the artistic elements of a product, but also wary of its commercial implications. I think, you know, people have to realize they're two sides of the same coin in the society we live in, you know, beyond a certain scale, you know, if you want to get something made, you know, you need money and you need to make money. And, you know, I don't see, I don't see, at least in the world we live in, I don't see, you know, commercialism and art as being opposites at war. I see them being opposing forces that sometimes conflict and sometimes agree, but mostly it's an interplay, it's a dance, it's a compromise uh, between them. You know, they need each other to exist. If there's no artistic merit, then, you know, there's nothing to sell. People won't buy it. If there's no commercial integrity, then the art fails to find an audience and it also fails to appeal and it fails to sell. You know, so it's a compromise on both sides, I feel. But I guess the, the thesis statement of this video, just to keep it from getting too long, is that I don't think it's weird to be excited for commercials. I think it's weird to be angry over being spoiled for a commercial. You know, I, and I think we should respect what interests people and what, they, what they're passionate about. And I think... Um, it's easy to sound smart by being cynical, but that doesn't actually mean you're right. Uh, I've fallen into that trap many times in my life where, you know, I, I, I think, I mean, it's basically what I just said. I think some people like to think they're smarter because they're t they have the most cynical take in the room, and sometimes that's true, but a lot of the time, it, they're not synonymous. Cynicism is not intelligence. You know, if anything, it's 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 a it's a lure. It's a it's a way to make yourself sound smart without actually putting any deeper thought into it. I feel. You know, so yeah, don't go all corporate high of mind, but also acknowledge that it's okay to be excited and invested in things, and it's okay to be upset when those things are spoiled for you. You know. That's basically the thesis statement of this video. Is it weird to be spoiled? Is it weird to be upset by being spoiled by commercials? A little bit, but mostly not really. This has been Zeke Freak. Ciao, ciao for now.